Assalamualaikum madam. We are presenting Kuala Lumpur and Singapore High Speed Rails, which is HSR as the project in our case study. Assalamualaikum. My name is Aminur Anis binti Idris. I will explain on introduction. Okay, Malaysia and Singapore has cooperated in launching Kuala Lumpur Singapore High Speed Rail, which is HSR. The Malaysian has introduced the project to the Economic Transformation Program as to become a high-income country. This program also to be made as the mechanism that can increase the economic growth for the both country. This project will be provide seven stations in Malaysia such as Pedi Malaysia, Sepetepang Putrajaya, Seremban, Melaka, Mua, Batu Pahat, Iskandar Putri, and one station in Singapore which is Jurong East. Okay, this project also could give more benefit on the companies to be more profitable and have access to a wider place. Uh, the public also can get benefit which is uh, can ride from KL to Singapore within a shorter time which is 90 minutes and um, receive a convenience ride. The, this, this project also could give uh, the people to improve and enhance the way of their life in the work system and travel experience. Therefore, uh, therefore, this project uh, was delayed due to several factors. Uh, but this project was resumed in 2020 when the Malaysian government changed the reign on the reign of the government. The completion of the project cannot be done due to some obstacle, such as uh, higher costs and other problem. So that um, needs uh, uh, improve for the implementation or completion of the project. My name is Nova Izati Benti Omar and I will explain the problem of Kuala Lumpur Singapore High Speed Rail. So the first problem is delaying for a long time due to changing of Malaysian government. When the transfer of government power happens, the system of administration also rechanges and the construction of HSR project as well. This is because every leader has their own style and perspective on how to govern the country. For an example, the dominant party in Malaysia which is Barisan Nasional has been defeated by Pakatan Harapan in general election of 14. This project has been agreed between Malaysia and Singapore during Datuk Seri Najib Raza era. He believed that this project can bring a lot of benefit to people. However, when Pakatan Harapan sees a government, the former Prime Minister Tun Dr. Mahathir has announced to suspend the project for two years from September 2018 until end May 2020. The reason he is uh, postponed the project because he assumed that this project will not bring benefit to people and country where it's only a short track as it's only save time of people with only one hour by taking HSR. Then the government also facing a short depth of budget following to the economy inefficiency of the country. Since this project is the mega project between Malaysia and Singapore, does it really needs a lot of budget in terms of capital, energy, people involved and so on. However, due to shortage of budget, at least the government need to delay the project. This can be seen during the administration of Pakatan Harapan. The financial of country during Pakatan Harapan administration was not stable on that time which led to Dr. Mahdi need to postpone the construction of Kuala Lumpur Singapore High Speed Rail. It was a challenging economic time for the Pakatan Harapan as the new Malaysian government which was due to the shocking exposed to many previously hidden debts and obligations during Barisan National Administration. Pakatan Harapan are struggling to reduce the national debt rather than running a high cost project which are not necessary to come at first place. For an example, the total cost for HSR construction for the 300 15 km roads is expected to cost RM110 billion and that amount is too high for the government to handle with a 100 trillion with, a one, with RM1 trillion of national debt. This HSR, HSR project with a high cost is not necessary as it was but at was but 
at close range where it will not contribute much development to the economy of country. The solution for the first problem occur in Kuala Lumpur, Singapore High Speed Rail or HSR is by negotiation. In this project, the negotiation was made by Government of Malaysia with Singapore in order to postpone the project due to the changing government problem. The negotiation led to the delaying of HSR project. Malaysia and Singapore agreed to postpone the HSR project from September 2018 to end of May 2020. Then, Malaysia government asked for a seven-month lengthening in order to give space for votes of the country to examine the change to the HSR project. According to Channel New Asia 2020, Singapore Transport Minister Mr. Kao Boon Wan agreed with the negotiation to lengthen the delaying until December 31. Then, votes of the country say that the HSR project expected to be done on January 1, 2031. Next, the solution for second problem that causes delaying in HSR project is the government made a review back to the cost of the project. Tengku Zafur Haziz, Finance Minister 2020, said that the government of Malaysia aimed to continue the HSR project because it able to give good multiplying effect on economy. The review has doing back to the HSR project because it seems will give benefit to the government. According to the Star 2020, the stop station for HSR project will be reduced as well as and this will reduce the cost of the project but still will in high speed. Besides, Tun Dr. Mahadi said that the project will be changed in terms of this project scale and reduce the speed of HSR project in order to reduce the cost. So, from the review made, the HSR project will be continued and further discussion with Singapore will be made soon. Besides, the government say that the aim for the continual is to help the state to handle the economic impact of COVID-19 and give a benefit to people in terms of transport infrastructure. The other solution made by government to settle up the problem occur is by choosing the best way to settle the problem in intelligent way. Both of the countries chosen to postpone the HSR project later than to cancel the project. This is because the abolishment of the project will incur a lot of money. The cancellation of the HSR project will lead to the huge amount of compensation according to the agreement of HSR. So, the cancellation will give harm to the government because they need to pay huge amount of compensation to Singapore as stated in the HSR agreement. Mr. Kao told to the parliament in October 2018 that a longer delaying will impact the development plan for the Jurong Lake District which will function in the Singapore HSR terminus and other transport. So, both of the countries chosen to postpone the HSR project and make comeback in 2021 in order to prevent the over-budget happen in the both countries. The cost deduction will be made to the project in order to make sure that the project will run smoothly and give benefit to the people for a both sides. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Siti Zakir binti Muhammad Zahir. Alright, I will presenting the recommendation part. As for the recommendation, the government should identify and detect the delay causes earlier for Kuala Lumpur Singapore High Speed Rail HSR project. Through whole a uh, meeting during the planning process is very important so that the issues and problem arise can be detected at an early stage. The problems include Poor weather during the construction activities, having labor shortages, facing internal conflicts among the team members, lack of equipment, and there is miscommunication happen. However, through the involvement in the design phase also can assist the responsible subcontractors in seeking for the potential delays that may happen during the project. According to Abdul Rahman Barawi, it is very important to predict and identify the issues in the early stages since we can diagnose and find the implementation and alternative to avoid the delay happen. Secondly, the government may choose an expertise and experienced subcontractors to deal with the project. By choosing the expertise and experienced subcontractors to handle the project, we'll able to ensure the effectiveness and efficiency progress of this mega project. 
the expertise will follow the managerial skill performance as the manager is should be responsible for representing the company reputation as well as for the successful planning of the project. It is include the process of planning, organizing, leading and controlling in order to achieve the setting goals of the Kuala Lumpur Singapore High Speed Rail HSR project. The goal of each project is begin with how workable the framework is and the progress for an effective consistency and success of the project construction. The third recommendation, the government may adopting an innovative and good teamwork with the subcontractor involved with the project to follow up and monitor the progress to assist in planning and scheduling process. Through the detailed review of the requirements needed for the project will allow the mapping of the resources while at the same time able to reduce the risk happen in the project. By adopting an innovative and good teamwork with the subcontractors, we'll able to eliminate the delays by acceleration, while at the same time can identify if the delay happened or from inadequate subcontractors experience. Last but not least, through this step, the government may able to measure the productivity of Kuala Lumpur Singapore High Speed Rail HSR project and monitoring tools through key performance index. Okay, I will come to the end of the presentations, which is the conclusions. Okay, as a conclusion, uh, the Kuala Lumpur Singapore High Speed Rail HSR project is one of the mega projects that has been on and off for some time. But after cabinets approved, the projects will be started back. Uh, we can see that the presence for KL Singapore HSR project is still in progress due to some constraints during the process of implementation of the projects. It is undeniable that the KL Singapore HSR project has been through so many problems such as changing in Malaysia governments and also the shortage of the budgets. Uh, the KL Singapore HSR project is obviously for the economic reasons as it is good for enhancing the infrastructure in Malaysia. So it is the responsibility of the governments in planning the project well so that the project will keep in progress until it completely finished. In order for the project to be complete, the measurements of the actual progress of the project need to be focused by the governments. And the projects need to be planned and compared on a timely basis and also a regular basis okay and the corrective actions uh, need to take by the government immediately when it is necessary as it is the key for effective projects control and the governments also need to have the project starts and finish times in order for the governments to estimate the starts and completion time for the overall project. Thus, uh, the, ro the roles of the governments is important in order for the KL Singapore HSR projects to complete and finish on time when the project is back on track. As the KL Singapore HSR project is too great to be ignored.